All right, what I'm going to try to do quickly here is show you how to connect uh, an iPad to your network and use it as a wireless MIDI controller, a feature that's built into Mac OS X. And uh, specifically, what we want to do is use this uh, Pianist Pro application here on my iPad uh, and use it to uh, play notes from this piano and have those notes actually uh, sent over to my Absynth synthesizer, which is running on my MacBook Pro. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that both your computer and your iPad um, are connected to the same wireless network. So that's key. They both have to be connected to the same network. I'm connected to a network that's called StallingsNet, and uh, you'll see that um, how that works here in just a second. Second thing that you need to do is open a utility called Audio MIDI Setup. And one way that you can do that is in the Finder menu, clicking Go, Utilities. And then double click this audio MIDI setup application right here. Now I'm going to close my utilities window. There's actually uh, two parts of this um, the uh, audio window and then the MIDI studio. Sometimes one or both of these will not be visible when you first launch the program. Just make sure that your MIDI studio window is active after you launch the program. And you can toggle that using this window function here. I'm going to go ahead and close the audio devices and what we're going to do here is create a new MIDI device on our wireless network. So double click the network icon and what you want to do is create a new session, tick the check box to enable it. This is very important. Make sure that the bonjour name is actually the name of your wireless network, not the name of your machine. So as I said before, I'm on StallingsNet. That's the name of my network. And then back on the iPad over here, as soon as I launch Pianist Pro, um, as it is an application that can send MIDI information wirelessly, I should see a device appear here in the directory. That device will be my iPad. So now I just need to click on my iPad and connect. and I should be good to go. Go ahead and close this down. Now, One of the things I like about Pianist Pro, in addition to uh, only costing $4.99 and having a terrific MIDI implementation, is that it does all the back-end MIDI work for you. So it just lets you know when you're connected through uh, a network MIDI, you don't have to do any other setup. You may have to do other setup on other applications, but if you want to uh, just get this up and running really quickly, I do recommend Pianist Pro. So I'm going to click OK here, and uh, I've got a synth pulled up in Absynth, Joe's Awesome Synth, and as I play notes, everything should work. The notes from my iPad should go to Absynth, so I'll play a few phrases here. And that's all there is to it. Uh, this is a fantastic feature uh, on the Mac system, having a wireless uh, device that you can control um, using an iPad or any iOS device. Um, you can use this also on your iPad. And uh, one thing I'm going to try to figure out is if you can have multiple devices all going at the same time. For instance, have a uh, iPad going through uh, one MIDI channel and a iPhone going through another channel. So hopefully this has been helpful. Please leave comments and feedbacks. Thank you.